this film is inspired by the Grimm Brothers fairy tale first written in medieval times. The original story is told from a rather feminist perspective with Gretel the girl outwitting and eventually killing the witch which is the figure eliciting fear in the story. In the movie, however, we can see that the girl is both the victim and the predator. Living in an orphanage with other children, she was abused and tortured. With some magical powers bestowed upon her by the Hanzo and Grotto fairy tale, she defeated her abuser and subverted her position as the victim. She then creates an illusion with her magical powers, luring and imprisoning innocent adults to be her guardians. What then makes her a gothic heroine? First, the orphan girl starts out as fragile, passive, innocent and pure. She has suffered the imprisonment and sexual abuse from the owner of the orphanage who is a vicious, feather-like figure. On the other hand, rather than being the subject of horror, she has subverted her role to become the source of horror to the male protagonist. We can see that instead of being imprisoned by males, she has become the monster who imprisons and even kills the seemingly more powerful adult figures. She is now the femme fatale, especially when she resorts to sexually attracting the male protagonist into doing her biddings. Can she then be considered a gothic heroine? I believe so. First, she was forced into becoming a horrifying figure, but has kept her innocence and purity as can be seen from the scene where she releases the male protagonist. She also depends on the male protagonist, who can be perceived as a good young nobleman, to liberate her from the magical powers that have become her curse. Though her happy ending does not result in marriage, the romantic undertone of the film does suggest her role as a gothic heroine.